Did you know recruiters only spend 7 second on your resume? And here's the truth. Most resume don't even reach recruiter. They get rejected by ATS before human ever looks at them. Hi, my name is Rajat Gajbe. I'm a software developer and content creator. I have done over 3000 plus one-on-one session over the past few years, so I know what works on resume and what gets rejected. Again and again I saw the same thing. People had the skills. In fact, many of them were amazing developers, testers and designers. But the resume they were using honestly, it was crap. That's why they got rejected by ATS or by HR. So, fix the resume and you'll start getting interviews. Now, most of you already know this, but I'm sure some of you are thinking, "Rajat, what's this ATS you are talking about?" So, let's start from the very top. Your resume actually goes through three level of people. First ATS, second HR, third is hiring manager. The first one is not even a person. It's ATS, application tracking system. Most company today use ATS because they get 1000 plus resume for one opening. Now let's be real, no recruiter is reading all of those. So what happens? Your resume is scanned by ATS. If it fails here, it never reaches HR or hiring manager. If your resume fails ATS, it get dumped. Like swipe left. <laughs> sorry sorry thoda zyada real ho gaya but you got the point right once ats rejects you there is usually no second chance now you probably thinking okay rajat how do i make my resume ats friendly well let's start from the formatting and structure first thing keep it one page this helps ats recruiters and hiring manager Remember recruiters only spend 7 second on your resume so if you hand them a three page story of your life chances are it's getting rejected without a second look now there is one exception if you have 5 plus years of solid experience or multiple big projects then yes you can stretch it up to one and a half pages but anything beyond that all right so now how do you keep your resume clean and ats friendly Rule number 1 keep it simple use calibri or arial size 10 or 12 with clean and minimal template i have added free overlip template link in the description just pick that and start building your resume right away rule 2 don't add photos recruiter care about your skills not how you look and rule number 3 avoid fancy formatting no graphics no icon no columns most ats can't pass them reliably okay so let's talk about the content and section on your resume See formatting is one thing but what you put inside matters the most. The first one is header. Put your name in big fonts at the top. Then add your contact details, email, phone, LinkedIn, GitHub and portfolio if you have one. If you have got strong lead code or GFG stat, add those links too. That instantly gives you the credibility. Second, the skill section. Now this is important. I always tell people put your most attractive point first. For some that's education like uh, if you are from IIT or have 9 plus CGPA, flex it. For others it's experience if you have worked at big companies like bank, but most of us don't have that. Even I am from tier 2 college. So what's the thing we all have? Skills. That's why for 90% of you the first section should be skills. it makes the recruiter think yes this person has the tech we need keep it super simple like this and please don't add star rating like four star in java let the hiring manager judge you on your skills third work experience if you have work experience add that if not add internship no internship add freelance work or open source contribution if you are complete fresher bring your project section up here instead now follow this golden rule Don't write big paragraphs, use bullet points. Write at least 3 to 4 bullet point for each role. Start every bullet point with action word. Action words are like implemented, designed, spearheaded. Use this formula for every bullet point. Accomplished X by implementing Y which led to Z. Some examples. Don't write designed a driver searching logic. Instead write designed a driver searching algorithm using Redis caching which reduce the DB query by 20%. So why this works? Numbers show impact. When you add numbers and measurable results, your ATS score goes up. Say you add one number, example 20% decrease in load time, your ATS score goes up by one or two points. Numbers makes your work real, your resume credible, and your chances of getting shortlisted higher. Study shows when you use action word plus numbers it literally increases your chance by 140%.
also a pro tip bold key skills and impact phrases so recruiters can skim fast for example react javascript kafka reduce latency by 35% or 25% bold this particular phrases or skills now let's talk about the fourth section projects every candidate should have at least three solid projects add project name and short one liner add hosted link if possible a live demo shows you know end to end not just coding but deploying too and it makes you look serious it increases your chances of getting shortlisted if you can't host it no problem add github links but if recruiter open your repo and readme says nothing that's useless it leaves bad impression so make your github presentation ready like you can add a clear readme file or screenshot or short demo video setup instruction how to quickly run your project locally feature list take used section and trust me when recruiter or hiring manager sees a clear readme with demo you get an edge over other candidates so most people just drop dead links but you will be standing out here structure each project like experience 3 to 4 bullet point with action word and number and end with take used like react node java postgres sql whatever tech you used while doing that project or while working on that project keep it simple measurable and real that's how your project and experience turn into interviews fifth the education section keep the education sections short and to the point use reverse chronological order latest first if you did btech or ms just add that no need to add 10th or 12th percentage cgpa is optional if it is strong like uh, you have 8.5 or 9 cgpa then add it otherwise skip it companies who care will always ask anyway sixth achievements this section is optional but you can add it if you have achievements related to tech some of the good example here will be uh, you have hackathon wins or you have done some open source contribution you have some publication or patents uh, you have some certification tied to the role you have ranks in the coding contest then you can add that particular things in this section now some common mistakes to avoid don't add buzzword like hard working passionate ninja let the recruiter decide that don't add unprofessional links or emails like ninja gamer 69@gmail.com just use clean email id yaar save the resume in proper format like uh, if i am going to save my resume i'll be adding name like rajat_gachpa_resume.pdf that is simple and yes if you get this right you'll start getting interview calls so that covers ats and the structure quick thing if you want daily software job opening join my whatsapp channel we are 20k there and link is pinned in the description and comment box so do follow me on whatsapp as well all right back to the resume content once you clear ats your resume finally reaches the hr recruiter hr looks at your resume very differently they don't go deep into tech that's not their job they check the basics like do you have the required qualification do you have the skills for the jd is your resume clean professional or role specific is there any red flags like typos or messy formatting or irrelevant info like i already said hr spends around 7 seconds scanning that's why your most important stuff should be right at the top skills work experience projects or education if you got a strong cgpa or iit nit tag because if they don't see the relevance in this first few seconds your resume won't move forward if you follow the ats friendly tips you basically tick the hr box too now finally hiring manager unlike hr they actually go deeper into your resume they want to know do you have the skills can you create impact do you have the proof that you can deliver and this is exactly why i told you earlier to frame your work experience and project in this structure what you did how you did impact or results what hiring manager really care about is relevance if you are applying for back end role highlight things like api scalability database if it is full stack emphasize end to end ui plus back end plus deployment basically you want them to look at your resume and say yes this person has solved the exact type of problems we face and remember what i said in the ats section always bold the part of your experience that matches the role that way their eyes lands exactly where you want 
for hiring manager domain specific achievements stand out hackathons open source pr published papers or talks that's how you convince the hiring manager you can do the job not just list the task but show the impact one thing you should absolutely avoid from hiring manager is flub they spot it instantly also don't lie about your designation or role keep your experience aligned with the role you are applying for but don't make things up now i will give you one practical tip let's say you are mostly worked on the front end but you are applying for the back end role you can highlight the back end parts you worked on even if it's uh, smaller because of the non disclosure company usually don't share the exact jd so yes you can shift the focus a bit but there is a catch if you add something you must be able to justify it in the interviews because mostly you will get questions around that look people will tell you never lie on your resume but let's be honest companies also lie on their jd's yaar they'll hire you for a software developer role and then make you do the support task So my advice your job is to frame your work properly highlight what aligns with your role you want but don't fake what you can't defend now that's it now let's make it real open the template below spend 30 to 40 minute fixing your resume and apply two to three roles today and then come back and tell me what happened i actually read your comments and also drop a view only link to your resume i'll pick a few to review and leave quick notes And if you want daily software dev openings or job updates, join my WhatsApp channel. We are 20k there. Link is pinned in the description and comment box. You got the skills. Now let your resume say it. I'm Rajat Gajbe. I'll see you in comments and in the interviews.